Hi everybody, the video this week is going to focus on my poetry class that I teach for 60 minutes twice a month. And I have so much information to share that I cannot cram it in those two 60 minute time slots at all. But hopefully if I can share this with you over your phone today, maybe you can practice at home and brainstorm your own performance one day. So I'm going to go over a couple of things with this demo. I'm going to teach you how to do a more basic move and then hopefully make it your own stylized performance move. Okay, so we're going to use the Juliet as our foundation. The Juliet spin can be done so many great ways that this should help inspire you to develop your own moves. If I start my dominant hand up, I'm going to set my outside foot down and I want to lengthen my body out and away. I'm hoping to pull my hips away so that the more I'm distant from the pole, the more momentum I can gather. I'm going to lean away and I'm going to hook my inside leg and spin it up. The hard part is the coordination of the leg. So when I step in, I'm leaning away and I want to catch this leg as it touches the pole. Try not to bend it too soon. Okay, so we've got the Juliet spin. We need to make it our own and make it now more signature and stage ready. Now let's think about angles here. We have diagonals already and we have ups and downs. The body starts up and it goes down. Well, suppose it continues on. So here's how we want to bring the body down and hopefully this will inspire you to work on your floor work. If I bring the Juliet around, I'm going to hook, I'm going to drag my toe, curl in. Okay, so another option would be maybe working back onto the pole. The Juliet kind of carries the body away. Suppose we want to reconnect. If the Juliet's coming away and I'm outwards, I'm hooked, I can easily touch and rotate back in. Maybe even climb. Okay, so now that you have some moves to practice, you have the down and you have the up and you have these great diagonals we're working with for the Juliet spin naturally, we need to now think of all of the finer details. Let's talk about what we're not using yet such as our outside arm. On the Juliet spin, we lengthen out, but we haven't done anything with this yet. And when we bring our body up or we bring our body down, what else can we do to provide those little details to up our scores on the score sheet? So now let's say I want to move it to the floor. If I bring my body out away and I'm doing my arm tuck down, maybe I want to continue rolling. I'm going to tuck under my arm and come up. Okay, so now let's work on some fine details for the ones that are going to come up the pole. For those that want to hook on the pole, maybe it's not as simple as a fireman's fit. When I come out and away, I'm going to tap. Maybe I rotate out and Who's to say it has to hook on the pole? It's your pole tree. Okay, so hopefully you took a lot away from this, and maybe you can practice your own moves. Maybe you even just learned a new move. But when it comes to what you're trying to put together for your own poetry, don't forget the parts of your body you may not be using. Infiltrate them stylistically and use dynamics of height. And maybe work on standing and going to the floor in ways you've never thought. So hopefully when you're putting together your own poetry, you think of something awesome and you can use this for your own brainstorming.